Sponsored by Jack Daniels. Not really, but I like it. So over here we have a uh, chuck roast. I'm gonna cut it in chunks and strips right now so we could uh, get it ready for our grinder. I don't know the fat to uh, meat ratio on this. It's a little fatty and I don't wanna waste any of it cause shit, I want a fatty burger. So I'm just cutting it into little strips so that I could feed it through the grinder. Over here I have the attachments for the KitchenAid. I put them all in the freezer overnight, keeping this cold. When you process the meat, it'll help it maintain a cool temperature. So you don't want you don't want anything hot on it. Was there? I don't like reading instructions. It's not for me. We have two dies that are frozen together. Two sizes for this one: a smaller one, and a large one. And uh, I think I'm gonna use the large one for this hamburger. So. I had to cut it into smaller pieces from what I previously showed you because focus on the little hole, it's a little bit smaller than it was. So I cut it and now let's try it out and let's see how it goes. We have our ground meat. We're going to incorporate it with these wonderful ingredients. A little jack, a little olive oil, a little pepper. I had fresh ground pepper, but I don't know where it went, so we're just using this right now. A little garlic salt, just to give it a little flavor, and I small dice some onions. The onions first. Uh, um, oh, what, teaspoon? A tablespoon? I don't know. Whatever. A shot. Just mix it by hand lightly. So now we're gonna make patties. Over here I have a little scale. We're gonna try to measure eight ounce patties, is what I said earlier. Let's see how it goes. Seven, nine, eight ounce patty. Shouldn't fall apart. You have a nice, beautiful, fat patty. So we can make it a little bit thinner so you can help it cook more even. Just form it. When I heard if you like grind meat like this, the proteins in it, the fat and all that, kind of hold it together. Boom, another eight ounce patty. They're looking really fucking good. Sorry, I gotta censor the bad words. Nice. Okay, so. Previously we had three eight ounce patties, but then we decided to make it into more like smaller size because we have kids here in the house. So these are four ounces. We did math. We said like four, four, four. These are like five to six. You can see we have the garnishes and everything ready for the patties. So you just boom, land it on there. Throw a little mayonnaise, a little mustard, ketchup, whatever you want. apart a little but that's that's natural because like I said these are freshly ground burgers so it's not like the ones you get at the market that are just been ground and packed and all that these burgers are juicy they'll, they'll break down a little bit they'll melt in your mouth and I'm gonna put a little lid on it already so just cook it through a little bit and there you go we're gonna cook it about medium medium well we don't like a well done burgers we don't like hockey pucks we just grounded everything here so we know that it's not you know, there's no bacteria or anything in it. When you get it from a supermarket, the ground beef, you don't know what's been through or how it's been processed. But since we did it here at home, we know that that meat was processed right now. We just did everything right here, and it's good to go. So, let's see how it goes. So we have one with American cheese. Oh. Go. The healthy lettuce wrap one. Onions on there, side, little tomates, tomatoes, and a happy face cantaloupe. Tribute to Joe's. Cheers. We don't like a well done burgers, we don't like hockey pucks. 